What is this? Two hut episodes in a day? That's right guys, what is going on? Matt here and welcome to hut episode 3. The second episode of the day and this one is all about packs. That's right, we have our returning user reward that I totally forgot about. You see right here, it's letting you know that you have one, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, second episode of the day. The first episode was all gameplay and adding stuff. This episode is all pack opening. So, turns out, since I played Hockey Ultimate Team 15 a lot, I have 10 unopened packs waiting for me to open, which is really exciting because my team is crap. I added a few players here and there, but this is really going to solidify my team just as a base team when I'm starting off. So here are the 10 packs. They're all gold packs. It says the best pack to find the best players for building your number one team. I think it has a chance um, for, I don't know, it has a couple of rare golds, that's all I know. So here we go, pack number one. What are we going to get? We see the cool animation. I'm going to let this one play out. You can also skip it. And we're also going to get a Cam Talbot and a Matt Dumba. So a very nice job there. We may not even need Martin Jones anymore because I like to use Cam Talbot. I've never tried him out. And also Matt Dumba. He's going to be a good right defenseman. We also get a couple of other players that we might put on there. We have a lot of contracts, which is what we need. We get a cool Islanders jersey. And what else? Sharks away jersey. Gold Fatigue, Capitals logo, Jordy Ben, not Jamie Ben, and that is it. So, good first pack of Hockey Ultimate Team 16. We'll move on to pack number two. What is going to happen? Seeing the animation, and boom. We get a raffle and a Gunnarsson. So, a nice job there. Nice pull. Gunnarsson's going to fit nicely in our defensive core. Again, it's just a basic team. So, these cards that I probably will dis discard later on, um, we're going to be using them now. So, there's Chase Song. We got Victor Foss. Uh, we also get a New York change team logo and their arena, which I might use because it's kind of a cool arena. It's kind of weird looking with the smaller arena that it's in. We got an Oilers alternate, yeah, alternate jersey, and that is it. So here we go, pack number three. We're just going to skip it, and we do get two very good centers, both 84 overalls, Adam Henrik of the Devils and Nielsen from, or Nielsen. They have a bunch of Nielsen and Nielsens on the Islanders. And those two are both going to be probably number one and number two, or maybe number one and number three, I don't know. But we get a Sharks Arena, Sharks Jersey, and a couple of contracts, which is good. Moving on, pack number four, also skipping it, and look who we pulled, a Mark Stahl. That's a very good pull. A lot of left defensemen in this pack opening, as he will probably be the first line left defenseman on our team. We get a Kuhlman, Benino, Diaz, Zucker, and a bunch of contracts couple of training cards remember there are no duration cards this year they're only for one game which really decreases the value of training cards and that is it so that is it for pack number four moving on to pack number five what will we get boom uh we get an eric johnson that's pretty good so another defenseman this one a right defenseman he might be on the first line with mark Stahl, uh left and left and right but uh, other than that not too good of a pack probably our worst one so far uh, a couple of rare gold or unrare gold players, non rare golds. Seals jersey, bunch of contracts, goalie fatigue, some trainings, some jerseys, some logos, jerseys, more jerseys, and that is it. So, pack number five was probably our worst one yet, but we will move on to pack number six where we are going to get another left defenseman, Trevor Daly of the Dallas Stars. A very good pull. He'll probably be right behind Mark Stahl on line two. We get Victor Stahlberg, get a couple of contracts, some more training cards, and pack number six was pretty good. We get another left defenseman. Defenseman moving on forward pack number seven After this we have three more to go and this one is pretty decent We get David Perron and Jake Muzzin Perron I really don't like a lot. I just don't know why I've never liked him But I'll probably use him Jake Muzzin another left defenseman We get Victor Tikhanov there and he is a Russian forward there fun fact I used to play uh, youth hockey. I'm in college now, so I don't play that anymore, but my coach was actually um Victor Tikhanov's sister, which their granddad was the coach of that Russian national USSR national team that lost to the US in that crazy miracle on ice. So that's just a fun fact. And pack number eight is absolutely trash. We don't get anything. We get some more training cards. And that is it. And we'll move on to pack number nine. Time again. Jonas Hiller. Time again's okay. Jonas Hiller is very good. He'll probably back up Cam Talbot, which means we have enough goalies, enough good goalies to sell Martin Jones. So we just got him for about a game or two. Now we're going to sell him, and that is it. So we're moving on to the final pack. Pack number 10 is among us. What will it be? We're going to let this one play out. We're going to let it explode, and it's going to give us Oscar Klefbaum. Okay, so decent there. We'll use him. A lot of left defensemen. Like, a lot. Too many. 
we might have to put some of them in the right spot. We'll see. Team update coming right after this. But other than that, nothing much. We get a Rafi Torres. Might put him on the fourth line just to uh, hit people and fight people. But other than that, just a lot of contracts and trainings and jerseys and stuff like that. So here is what the team looks like after all of that. David Perron, Mike Fisher, Louis Erickson on line one. Joel Ward did have to get bumped down, but that's okay. I really like this first line. Just for a base team, it's good. On the second line, we have Henrik and Ward. Hopefully they can have a good uh, little... Um, I don't know, chemistry, along with Raffle on the left wing. On the third line, we have Nissen from, or Nelson from the Islanders, with Tomo Rutu on the right wing and Chris Versteeg on the left wing. So Versteeg did drop a little bit, but that's a solid line three. You know, we need some depth. Um, as far as line four goes, we have Cleish, Ty McGinn, and Ben Smith on line four. So the offense is looking pretty good. I will take it. As far as the defense goes, it's actually looking pretty good for a base team. Mark Stahl and Eric Johnson on the first line. Matt Zumba and Trevor Daly on the second line. And then on the third line, we have Gunnarsson and Muzzin. Gunnarsson is a lefty, but we'll put him on the right D spot. And we also have Cam Talbot and Jonas Hiller in that. I really, really do like this pairing. It's just really good. I just really like them both. And now we can sell Martin Jones. All right, so it's after it's all said and done, our team is a lot better now. We have all golds, a bunch of rares now, and our defense is looking pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this two hut episode thing today, and leave a like for more tomorrow. Probably a Raiders franchise. I'll see you guys then. Peace.